Hey there friends, so you are interviewing for a postdoc or a PhD student position and you're doing well in the interview and then the question comes up. So tell me about a time when you overcame a significant challenge in your work or variants thereof like what was the most significant problem that you solved? This is a question that very often is asked. I've also asked it because you're trying to find out what are the problem-solving skills of that person? How have they actually dealt with adversity and problems and difficult situations? Because that kind of stuff is inevitably going to pop up during your appointment at some point. And so it's good to know how a person would react. And so this is a question that reveals quite a bit about your personality and about your thinking and your approach to things. I like to ask that question because I like to see how people can self-reflect about what they're doing. Are they able to take a step back and say like, well, this is the particular challenge that was presented to me and I was able to solve that because of XYZ. For example, because of communication skills, because of my ability to do function well in a team or whatever it may be. So I think this is a, is a pretty good question. And I think there are some excellent ways to answer that question, but this is also a tricky question because there are definitely some answers you do not want to give. And this one to talk about in this video. So let's start about what you should avoid in your answer to that question. You should not be complaining about the situation, your employer or other people. Because this is kind of the trap in this question that it may lead you to doing that in some shape or form. So stay very clear from that because that puts you in a very negative light. You don't want to do that at all. So don't complain about anything. Just neutrally state this was a problem that presented itself and also maybe just avoid using as examples any such problems where you would be seen as complaining about something. Also, you shouldn't say, oh, well, this was all easy because for two reasons, basically, if it really was easy, then it would have been not a challenge. And this was actually what the question was. And second, if it was really a challenge, but you say it's easy, you may have, you may come across as arrogant. So just don't say that. Say that there was um, this problem and this is how I solved it. Avoid giving examples here where there wasn't a clear solution. Of course, you know, if in the end it isn't clear how it was solved and especially how you contributed to solving it, then don't talk about it. And definitely do not talk about personal stuff here. This is about work-related challenges, not about personal challenges. Now, here are some tips for answering this question well. Well, we've all had a bunch of challenges probably to overcome in the course of our career. And so it may be a good time before the interview to just briefly reflect about which ones were the most significant for you. And if this was a significant challenge for you, did you actually contribute to overcoming it in a decisive way because that may be a good example to bring up. So before the interview, think about that question basically. Keep it short. This is, as I said, a slippery slope of a question because you may be um, having a tendency to complain or put other people in a bad light, even if it's anonymous, or you may drift into two personal things and uh, two deep insights. Um, you may be revealing too much, <laughs> more than is necessary, so just really keep it short and to the point. Now, it's also not good if you cannot think of an example um, because we've all had challenges, right? It's a uh, it's basically impossible for somebody to not have had some challenge. So if you really can think of something on the spot, then maybe you can think of something that you helped somebody else with. But more importantly, before the interview, really think about that point so you do come up with something. In your answer, I think it's very important, at least for me, to see what the person has learned. So emphasize what you have learned from overcoming that challenge. And here to finish off, here are some examples of what you might bring up. But of course, this is completely up to you and you may have faced some different challenges, so then by all means, use yours, not these. Maybe you've had a situation where there was a time pressure or a tight deadline where you needed to accomplish something and it was impossible to do it yourself, so you got together with others and you collaborated as a team, and as a team you overcame that challenge. And that illustrates that you are 
a good team player, for example, and you can organize things. So that's a good example. Another one is, and this is often also an interview question itself, is like, how have you dealt with a mistake you have made? or with a mistake somebody else has made. Now this is a good example because it shows that you can take responsibility for what you have done, and good and bad, and that you have maybe the communication skills to make it all better. And this question is also great for showcasing what you have learned in the process. How have you dealt with some difficult person? Might also be a good example. Like, especially if you could resolve it in a very positive way. Maybe because it was because of a misunderstanding and then you could actually solve it through communication skills. And a final example, maybe you can talk about a method that you had to learn and but that you had initially trouble with. And so you could talk about how you overcame that challenge for example, by really dedicating to it, by studying about it, by basically attending workshops or going to other labs or whatever it was that you did because it shows that you're dedicated and you are not likely to give up when you're presented with a challenge. So I think that's it. Those are my tips for answering the question how you overcame a significant challenge. Think about it before the interview. And with that, good luck and see you in the next video. Bye.